it's going to be hard to try and resolve a lot of the evil that you might be experiencing if you don't understand that you have a sinful, evil nature inside you. The Bible describes it as the old man, the carnal nature, the Adamic nature, the sinful nature, the nature inside us that causes us to sin. It wants us to sin. It wants us to make wrong decisions. It's clearly described in the Bible without any doubt or confusion. And it was imputed into man. Something happened in the creation of man. Something went wrong when the woman was deceived by the devil in Genesis chapter 3. When you combine the fact that there is a whole dimension of demons and angels working for and against humanity, you find that there is a whole world of good and evil not only inside of us, but around us as well. The carnal nature works in conjunction with its father, the father of lies, the one who comes to kill, steal and destroy the devil, Satan, Lucifer, whatever you want to describe him as, and he is real as well. See, what these entities want is for you to think they're not real. That's what they want. If they can convince you to believe that they're not real, most of the battles won. They'll just go about their business doing what they want to do, how they do it, without any opposition or obstruction at all. Because if people don't believe they're real, then there's going to be no conflict, there's going to be no contention, there's going to be no resistance against the temptations and influences that they create and put on us as human beings. Whilst the world is a blessed place to be in for the most part, it can also be a place of terrible pain and suffering and loss. Every morning I get up now and I'm very athletic, but I get up and I can hardly walk. My right ankle was shattered in a sporting accident by way of consequence, by way of confusion let down at the hands of a covert female narcissist whom I married and as she became began to become overt as she began to come out of the closet the negligence and the omission and the commission of trouble that came from this woman was so severe It was so troubling that I was doing kiteboarding 
and I realized that I wasn't in the right state of mind so I come in and evidently I got caught in the wind and taken into the air and then dropped on a paddock where I broke my arm and shattered my ankle. I'll never forget the surgeon come in and said we're going to have to remove your foot at the ankle, it's too, too badly damaged. And I woke up the next morning and there was another doctor's name on the doctor's board. They changed me from Dr. Gray to Dr. Michael Hunter. And Michael Hunter put my ankle back together. He did a fantastic job. I'll never be anything but grateful. Dr. Hunter was a Christian man, devout Christian, follower of Christ, filled with the Holy Spirit. And they put my ankle back together and saved my foot. But the point of the fact of the matter is, given the, the topic of which I'm talking about, the whole accident was caused by way of a covert female narcissist. She ended up stealing. She ended up... It was like dealing with a child in the end. Of, a uh, selfish child, destructive child. It was horrible. And my videos are to try and save people from being harmed by male and female covert narcissists. These people are usually enmeshed um, with family members. They'll share personal business about the relationship with family members and um, the privacy of your relationship will be invaded. You won't know any of this, it'll be happening behind your back. And they'll live a double life. They'll be actually, their true intimate status will be with their family members, it could be children or this kind of thing. A lot of them stay connected to their exes and remain emotionally associated with them. A lot of them will go back to their exes after they've done damage to people that have come along and tried to um, make a life with them because they go back to what they're used to. Like a dog returns to its vomit so does a fool to their foolishness, the Bible says. And when the Bible says it, it means it. It's not just one of these books that says anything for the sake of it. It warns us of what can happen to us. And so as you might possibly be wondering who you're dealing with or what you're dealing with. I would say you're dealing with the sinful nature of that person. They will not be aware that it has influence over them. You mix that with demonic influences and you have a very potent, clever form of evil that most people aren't going to recognize or acknowledge. You have to do this on your own. You have to stand up on your own and realize that you've now connected yourself and bonded yourself with a very unstable, evil individual. And as you and listen to this advice, it's the only advice I can give you before you you get harmed any further mentally or emotionally or physically. Relative to the unresolved, relative to your alarm bells going off and you coming out of the darkness and realizing that there's something seriously wrong, relative to the unresolved is how you detach. You have to unattach, disengage, 
from this person progressively because their unresolved will be your way out. You go no contact and never go back. 